OK, I'm just going to show you a couple of techniques for preparing raw imagery in Affinity Photo for use with the NIC Define noise reduction filter. So first of all, we need to install the NIC plugins. So I've downloaded the image file for Mac from the website here. I'll double click that to mount the installer. Double click NIC collection. And yes, that's fine. So then I'll just continue with the installation uncheck help to improve this product, click accept, and then I don't have any host applications installed like Photoshop or Lightroom. So we can actually add the plugins into an individual custom folder. So having clicked the little plus icon, I'm just going to put them on the desktop here. And there's no new folder option here annoyingly, so we can either create one on the desktop manually, or within the dialog here I can do shift command N and create a new folder called Plugins. Click Create, select that folder, that's fine, we'll choose that one. It's added as an Adobe Photoshop Custom 1. Fair enough. And we'll click Continue. We also want the binaries installed as the plugins won't function without them. So we'll click Install, authorize it, click OK, and then wait for the plugins to install. OK, so the plugins are now installed into this custom folder here. We'll just expand it to see them. OK, there we go. So then, within Photo, I'll just run Photo up here. What I want to do, I'll just close the Welcome panel, is go to Preferences, Photoshop Plugins, and then under Plugin Search Folders here, I want to click Add, navigate to the desktop, find that plugins folder, click OK. And then whilst I'm here, I'll also check allow unknown plugins to be used. And also, very importantly for a couple of the plugins, authorize global. And then from here, we just click authorize. And that will give Photo global access, which in turn allows the plugins that require extra directory access to have them. So then we click close, click restart now. And then we are up and running with all the plugins. So, we'll click Close, just expand this, and then I'll open up a RAW file. Okay, and here's the thing. By default, Photo does some color noise reduction. Depending on your settings, it may also apply luminance noise reduction by default. So, let's just zoom into a patch of the image where we know there's going to be some kind of noise. Here we go. and. If we're planning to denoise using the Define filter, there's no point in doing any kind of denoising at this stage. So all we do is just uncheck Noise Reduction, and there you'll see the blocky color noise has come back. Now, just a little tip, if you're developing lots of RAW files in future, and you plan to use Define for your denoising, you can turn off the initial noise reduction settings. And to do that, you want to go to the Assistant dialog here, and where it says Noise Reduction, simply set that to Take No Action. And then for future RAW files, you'll find noise reduction isn't enabled. So with no noise reduction applied, we can simply go ahead and click Develop. OK, and then a good habit to get into if you're working with external plugins is to duplicate the layer that you apply the plugin to. So I'll go to Layer, Duplicate, and I'll just single click it and call it Nick. OK, so now we go to Filters, Plugins, Nick Collection, and define too. All right, let's just make this full screen, and it will do its initial analysis of the image. OK, so then we head on over to the Reduce section. I'll just grab the Zoom tool and zoom in and pan to an area where the noise would be quite noticeable. So we're really pixel peeping here. But if I drag around so that the applied preview doesn't take effect, we can see the, the chroma noise, especially here. And then when I let go, we'll see the denoised version. So let's just take a look at the flat tonal areas up here. That's where most of the noise will be visible. We can still see just a tiny bit of blockiness here, so I'll raise contrast noise slightly and also do the same to color noise. Okay, so once we're happy with that, we can just click OK, 
and the plugins effects will then be passed back to photo. So let's just zoom into that area. And since we've done it on a duplicated layer, we can just hide that layer to do a before and after comparison. So there's the initial developed image with no denoising, and here's after define. So there we go. Really, I just wanted to point out the best way to kind of pre-process your raw files with the developed persona if you then plan on denoising or doing other corrective work with external plugins. And take note that we develop from RAW straight to 16-bit with Photo, so the plugins should usually work in 16-bit. They might be a tad slower. If they don't work, then you can always try converting to 8-bit via document and color format here. But if you find your plugin works absolutely fine in 16-bit color, then it's a good idea to keep it that way. And that's it for this video. Hopefully that was helpful to you. If you have any questions or queries, please do ask on the Affinity forums, and don't forget to check out the other video tutorials. Thank you for watching.